Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new Yalu application that you guys can sideload and use instead of the original Yalu provided by Luca Tedesco. So with that being said, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so if you guys want, you guys can go ahead and click on the first link that is inside of the description and you guys will be brought to this page right here and you guys can just click on the download IPA right here and it will just give you the IPA download link right away and from there you guys can go ahead and just get the blue yalu the IPA and have it right here. Then, like my last tutorials, go ahead and fire up Impactor, which links will be inside of the description as well. So, once you guys have this, go ahead and connect your iDevice into your computer and just go ahead and just sideload the application onto your iDevice. So, as usual, go ahead and sign in with your Apple ID, with your email, and corresponding passcode. Alright, so just letting you guys know if you guys do have some type of error thrown at you with a specific passcode that needs to be added, go ahead and click on one of the links that will display an Apple ID sign in fix. And you guys will just need to sign in and where it says two-factor authentication You guys want to just go ahead and enter a random passcode Then you guys will get a I believe 12 character passcode that you guys will need to enter on impactor instead of your original password This is only if you have two-step onto your Apple ID So if you guys don't have that and you guys just have your password that you just need to enter go ahead and just enter it And go ahead and press OK So whoops I entered it wrong Let me go ahead and just retype in my credentials Alright, there we go. It's signing and it's now going to sideload onto our iDevice. So from here, let me go ahead and just show you guys my phone right here. So as you guys can see, it just popped up. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize City of Impactor. And you guys can see Blue Yalu is on the far right hand corner. Now, which is pretty funny because the application is actually not blue. But I hope that the developer actually makes this application blue. So from here, make sure you guys go into Settings, General, Profiles, and Device Management. Then go ahead and trust your own iTunes email in order for you guys to launch up the Yalu app. Once you guys have the application trusted, go ahead and just launch up the Yalu application. Now, as you guys can see, the GUI is in fact a lot different than the usual Yalu jailbreak tool that we usually have. So, as you guys can see right here, it does work for any iDevice except the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus since these do not have a jailbreak for 10.2. Now, as you guys can see, I am already in my jailbroken state right here, but on the bottom, if you guys restart your iDevice, it will have a little slide that you want to go ahead and just slide over to the right hand side and then it'll go ahead and relaunch Yalu as normal. Now as you guys can see Substrate is also activated right now. You guys can go ahead and do that if you guys are restarting your iDevice. Now let's say you guys have problems with Cydia. You guys can go ahead and just swipe over to the right to toggle that switch and then launch the jailbreak and then it might possibly fix Cydia if you guys are having problems. Now this application is in version 1.0 and I just seen that the developer is going ahead and making the GUI a lot different and adding more options inside of the application as well. So with that being said, once he does release the version 2.0, I will go ahead and make a video on that as well and to show you guys what is installed with the Blue Yalu application. So that's pretty much it guys and like I said this application is only available for all devices except the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus since there is no jailbreak for 10.2 and the highest for that is at 10.1.1 and I'll go ahead and make another update video on that as well because a lot of people have been asking me about where's the jailbreak for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus regarding 10.2. So with that being said, if you guys like this tutorial, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also subscribe to get tutorials just like this in the future as well as a lot more jailbreak related videos as well. Don't forget to also follow me on my Twitter page and on my Facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and what's been going on in the jailbreak world. So with that being said guys, to see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks, signing out.